The other thing, though, which I'm really impressed about is obviously because what you're creating, you're in a business of, of giving happiness to people, but you also, you've been voted by the BRW as having the, the happiest, it's the happiest workplace, yeah. workplace, five years in a row or something. Yeah. How, do, how do you maintain that with, with employees? How do, you, how do you have good staff and, and, and what is it, what's the key thing about keeping people happy? Being a best employer for the last five years does take unbelievable commitment mm. and it it means that we have to understand what our role is so leadership plays a huge part of that and our values but it's not an entitlement mentality like if people mm. come to work it's not about the muesli bars or dexter at the office the dog it is about what did i get contribute what did i get to contribute and how did i grow so actually being challenging of people can be their greatest sense of reward mm, mm. you know i go home feeling like a winner because somebody challenged me to do something a little bit different and they succeeded and they succeeded so we do live in a world of nice and running a best place to work is not about being nice yeah. and people think oh you must be so lovely well actually i'm not <laughs> i just really challenge people but so what does that mean? You sort of really ask them to step up and say this, because I, I remember talking to Emma Isaacs, and yeah. you would know it. She said one of the things she does, because I thought, what's her challenge? She said, I love to take on something that's really hard to do, mm -hmm. because that, that gives her that sense of achievement. And that's yeah. obviously what you're talking about. And three under three and running a business might do that for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, but the, look, the thing is that I see people as bigger than they see themselves. And quite often people hide in their own insecurities of what they can and can't mm. do. And when somebody says, oh, I didn't know I could do that. So we as a leadership team believe that we need to look after people's well-being. And their growth, their learning and education is part of their well-being. Their physical health is part of their well-being. Mm. Um, their feeling of connection is very, very important. You know, when you no longer can believe in all sorts of institutions that we used to believe in, who do you believe in? At least can you believe in your employer, that you're yeah. there to do something worthwhile. Yeah. And, and the other thing is about being recognised and being noticed. I was going to say, it's the appreciation you get that, yeah. um, and you've got to think about saying thank you. Yes. Yeah. I do, yeah. uh, because it's so simple and so often forgotten. Mm. Doesn't it's it's not hard. No, you can truly make somebody stay. Yeah. How do you deal with it with they're not actually towing the line? Then how do you sort of you know because it's all about sort of appreciating the good that they've done. Do you always try and find the good or or? or and some not... people hide it. They really do. <laughs> <laughs> Very deep. Yes. And and sometimes people don't fit. Yeah. And, you know, we have to be realistic about that as mm. well. Mm. But um, our job as employers is to provide an environment where they can do their best work and the tools to do their best work, but they, it's up to them. So we're a team of adults, you know, it's not a kindergarten, we're not children, we're not telling you what to do. This is the business plan, this is how we need to get it done, this is what you said your role was doing. Mm. And it is about allowing people to do their job. And people say, oh, you must be the best delegator. And actually, I don't. I just say, oh, well, that's not my job. So whose job is it? Okay, so I need to pass it to them to allow them yeah, to do their job. Because if I do their job for them, it diminishes their them. It diminishes their ability to achieve, to succeed and feel that they did something. And I'm very good at letting people do their jobs.